start today with a top 10 shootout. It's one lap. As you can see, it's kind of raining. It probably look crazy. But these Bridgestone tires are supposed to be amazing in the wet. And even if it's not wet, they're amazing right out of the gate. Just they're, they're fast the first lap. Um, so we have three cars in the shootout. We run fifth, third, and second. So we run pretty quick succession, but we only have two sets of these tires. So we're going to put the first car out on those with my car and Zach's hands on pit lane, ready for a pit stop. And then as soon as Andy finished, or as soon as Zach finishes his lap, he's going to race back to pit lane, car goes up, tires go onto my car, car goes down, and then we'll be ready for me to go out three cars later. <laughs> it's crazy. Tell the casual viewer what the hell that is and why you're doing it. Okay. These are tire warmers. They're gonna get the tire up to optimal temp. It's a qualifying uh, run, so you really only get you get an outlap to heat up the tires, which at this track isn't a lot. So this will get the tires up to temp, so we'll have perfect traction right away. So will wet conditions even the power playing field? Part of it, there'll be traction limited in the wet, so uh, all the torque that we're losing the time on um, won't matter as much. But uh, driving in the wet is a totally different animal, so just car placement, car control, all that stuff matters a lot more. Um, I think it's something that definitely Andy and I are most comfortable with. We both get excited to drive in the wet. I don't know if everybody else gets excited to drive in the wet, but they always call it the great equalizer, so maybe this will be our uh, our turning point in the weekend. Now, as we move into uh, some of the ASM cars here, we're going to move on to Zach LeBoy, Eric Jensen, Andy Smedegard, and uh, Tom McCormick, Jeremy Swenson. Yeah. There's going to be a little bit of a situation going on with ASM. Right, what's that? So Tom, uh, Tom's team, ASM, has two sets of Bridgestones, which are the good tires for the wet in okay. the series right now. Uh, so the plan is, is that Zach is going to run on his tires, Andy is going to run on Tom's tires. Um, Tom's car is going to be on jack stands and pit lane. Zach's going to oh, finish. Oh, they're going to run on the same tires. And they're sharing the shoes. Tires. Hey, man, give me your shoes. Let me run. Right? Yeah. If that's what you're saying. Which, which uh, Tom was kind of joking me with last night that this isn't in the rules, meaning that there's no rule against doing this. No. But this is one of those Where scenarios. we're going, we don't need roads. Right. Look at this. We went to Back to the Future. Cerise is down there. It looks like uh, Cerise, she's going to get some words with her. Hey, Tom, you need tires, buddy. Cerise, down to you. Here, Tom, Tom, you're P2 and you're on track with no wheels on your car. What's up with that? I'm sure Kyle explained it. I just want to say this is pinnacle grassroots stuff right here. And it's, uh, I'm so nervous, but I trust my team. I hope this pays off for Zach. I hope it pays off for Andy. I have nothing to lose, so it's, it's for them, and I hope this works. <laughs> Best of luck, man. Have fun. I love Thank that. You. This awesome. is quintessential grassroots, and that's exactly what it is. It's really fun, but I think that's that's why GLTC, the format, and, and you talk about it, just you know, North American sports car racing. It's, it's just, it's really fun. Yeah, it's really cool. And again, uh, that was so funny for for Tom sitting there on <laughs> jack stands in pit lane. He's like, "There's no rule against it." He goes, "There probably will be after this, but <laughs> we'll see." Out of turn number nine, Eric Jensen with G-Speed in the 184 wow. FRS across the line. And second place, 107.857. Oh, yeah. Now the work goes down. Look at this. <laughs> Robert Thorne down yeah. there smiling as they're changing the tires. Here we go. We got a pit crew going. Come on, Thorne. All right. Well, they're swapping tires. Andy Snedegaard will be jumping on the racetrack now, the 212 from ASM. But this is, as they mentioned, this is grassroots racing at its finest. All the people with the cameras out taking footage of this. Uh, we don't have live pit stops in the LGC, not during races. With 15 minutes, not really necessary, but uh, this would be fun to watch. Yeah, it'd be really cool. And uh, we, we get this with Formula Group with competition timeouts. We get, you know, five minute allotment or 10 minute allotment, depending on what's going on. But uh, now we got the 2 1 2. You're talking about the gentleman that has his name on the side of the car, Smedegard, entering the drift uh, demos right now. <laughs> yeah, well, Andy is extremely experienced, not only in road racing, but also in autocross. 
Uh, Andy just came off of winning the King of the Mountain competition in his category with nitrous pumped into this engine, just as is. And it lasted, and it's still competitive. And Andy was given the opportunity by Tom. So Andy really owns Tom's car technically. Tom wanted Andy to drive his car. I asked Andy, why not give it a try? It's clearly really good. He goes, I want to improve this car. I want to find out what makes this car different from that one and make them equally as good. So that's why he's committed to this car this week. All right, so here we go, Smedegard. He is on his timed lap. Let's see what kind of times we got. Icotta leads the pack. You can see there by a, a solid two seconds above Jensen. And this is that variable, Mother Nature, saying, cool, it's a nice parade. Well, I'm going to rain on it. Here you go. So Smedegard, let's see how he handles coming off the bank into turn two. We saw Icotta really blazing in there. And Smedegard looks like, like you said, he's familiar with the wet. Handles that very appropriately. I think this infield section is so much like an autocross course. Yeah. This is going to fall right into Andy's hands here. I think High Cotter's time was really good. I think Andy's going to be very, very close, if not better. Very calm, cool, and collected through turn four. Not a lot of rear rotation. And now into the tricky bit, the right, left, right, left area, the S's section back here. Little bit of curbing, but look how planted it looks right now. That was now. great. And, and you got to think, you know, from the six vehicles we've seen previously, they're knocking away the water. They're putting down some rubber. It's not spitting right now. We're not seeing aggressive talker. So here we go. Smedegard, where's he going to land? What do you got, Kyle? What do you think? Across the line for Andy does Smedegard. I think he goes pole. Does he do it? Yes, he yeah. does. Oh, look at that. Just by... Oh, we're, looking, we're talking tense and tense and tense. Look at that. Well done there by Smedegard. You said this is right in his wheelhouse, and he absolutely delivered. But uh, big question is, how's, how's, how's Tomo going to handle this now? He's got, he's got warmed up tires that he just got off the other vehicle, so this should be fun. Well, I think Tom alone, even without the tires, would be one to beat. But look at him. He's not yet taken the green flag. He's still on his warm-up lap. Working his way through the infield section. Now, again, Tom has experience in IMSA in Pirelli World Challenge. He's got wins in IMSA, championships in Pirelli World Challenge. He's got uh, 19 wins on the season here in GLTC. And he is certainly hunting for his first Grid Live Touring Cup championship. Do we know from Jabeso as as the clock starts ticking there for Tom? Oh, look at that gentleman, his signature blue glasses. His blonde hair is not in that photo. But uh, a question for Jabe. Will Jensen be allowed to run, or is that it? And he goes to the bottom uh, of the pack. They'll, they'll typically give you another chance to go. Okay. If you can solve your issue, they'll let you go back out. We okay. have seen that happen before. He didn't take the green flag and start, so technically he didn't uh, didn't go for the green flag. So I think it's fair game to give him another shot. Here comes Tamo through turn three. Nice, tidy, and heads up towards four now. And again, this is going to be, uh, if he gets pole, it's going to be by a lot. I don't think yeah. it's going to be by a little. No, I mean, you can see just that half of a second with uh, with High Cotter getting beat Whoa. out there by oh. Smedigar. Oh, and look at that. You're a big talker, Betty yeah, Crocker. Well. You're saying, look, tires, Smyers, my man Tomo is going to get this done. And uh, you had a lot of confidence, man. Are you? Are you are, are I'm you? still pretty confident. Okay. I mean, he, he slid, yes, but he carried speed when he did it. So we'll okay. see a little wider line through turn eight and nine, staying out of the slippery stuff, up onto the banking, running the higher line. line. That's that was that uh, we haven't seen that from a lot of the guys. Across the line now, Tom O'Gorman from ASM with Hawk Performance across the line and to the top Look at that. by okay. half a second. All right, all right. I mean, I holy crap, these tires are fucking crazy. How'd it go? I, I should have pushed a lot harder. I was kind of expecting it to not be as grippy. And these fucking tires are nuts. Do you know what you ran? 105 on my thing. What did the gun do? Huh? I, I didn't catch that on video. What did the gun do? and breaking the nut loose, and then it goes really slowly. And those studs are long. So, like, hit it, and went, brrrr, got them loose, and then just, breaking it off. Took, like, 10 seconds to get one nut off. Then did it speed up, or did you fix no, it? I got another gun. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't that much better. Depending what Jeremy gets, I don't think he's going to be, but Tom and I are full. Tom's full, and I'm second. for four tenths. You're second? <laughs> What's up? It's your loyal video editor here, and I cut this video short because I wanted to get it out today, and that top 10 shootout was pretty awesome. 
So I thought it'd be cool just to get the video out right away so people could see it. So stay tuned. Um, I'm actually right now heading up to race four of the weekend, but the next video should recap this whole weekend. So I'll release another video hopefully tomorrow. Uh, so that'd be Sunday or even Monday at the latest, hopefully. Uh, so there'll be one more part of this video of the ASM trip to Gridlife Alpine Valley. Appreciate everybody watching. Um, you know how the algorithm works. The more likes, the more comments, all that crap you give really helps. Um, so if you like that we do this stuff, um, those types of things would help. But this is Paul from Boosted Films. Thanks for watching.